Yo, what is going on, part-timers? Zach here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the in-game loop and just talk about what I do every single day that I jump on and log on and also give you an expectation about what I think the game is trying to do for you and essentially what new events and stuff like that's going to be coming out to give you an idea of what the in-game loop is going to be like a year from now, a future, um, essentially to give you an expectation. So what I do when I first jump on is I go into my dailies, obviously, and I grab my extra stamina here to get to 220. You know, I will look at my weeklies to see what I need to do. Maybe I look at my bounties to see what else I need to do. Grab them if I haven't already. And then I go into my top up. Right now I'm doing this mainly because these are free. You can grab them in the store. So I definitely recommend you do that. And as of right now, just a quick side note, I have been kind of keeping these. Now I probably will use the 15 and 16 days because this will be pretty close to the end of the event. So I will probably end up using these ones. However, I'm waiting on these ones to hopefully get an announcement for the Fallen Stars event to see if I can't kind of hold on to them until then. If I can't, obviously I will just use them for resources and stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted to add that in there in case you guys are wondering what to do with those stamina. So essentially what I do is I run in here and I see what I need to do. So if I need to do like memory enhancers or weapon enhancers, I grab these ones. If I need to do just memories, maybe I'm grinding for a certain six star or maybe I just want to get six star memories, I do C5. Then I take that currency essentially and I pick out whatever I need whether it's a couple patents, which I'm already done with, or some of these boxes and stuff like that, as I will grab. Now, to give you an expectation about the future of these events, essentially how they're gonna be structured. There are events that add certain things, like Tower of Babel, which comes in Fallen Stars, but the Espionka event is very similar to the way that this one is structured. Now, it does have like a new story and, and you know, adds a couple of different things, but the thing is, you are probably going to be going in here and you're going to be grinding certain stages essentially to get a currency to jump into the shop to grab what you need now the only difference obviously is going to be patent's not going to be in there it's going to be henson which is going to be kind of a best in slot essentially for s bianca so you're going to be able to go in here and pick whatever whatever slot you want resonate it grab the mats that you kind of need and it's going to be kind of a rinse and repeat of this one so i wanted to give you guys an expectation so then talking about the in-game loop so if you jump in here like i do i do warzone you know pain cage golden vortex so where i'm at in warzone i know a lot of you guys are kind of wondering why i'm so low so i let myself derank and i know it seems like i'm just making that up the, the reason that i did that right is because i wanted to give kind of like a how long does it take for me to get to back up to leader i wanted to make that video so i have been documenting kind of my progress obviously i'm at level 66 my team is pretty strong i would say but I just wanted to kind of give an idea of what it looks like to go from backup all the way to leader in kind of one fell swoop. So I've been kind of documenting that. So I will jump into my missions, right? So if it's for like the start of the week, essentially, or the start of the day, whenever I jump into here for my first mission, I will go all the way through here. I'll unlock everything, do the best that I can. The next day I will jump into the next one and I will do the same thing. Now, if I've leveled my characters between this time, I will jump into this last one, essentially and redo it to see if I can get a little bit better. Or maybe if I have one of these units that I've been working on for the increased fire damage, or I think this one's like electricity right now, or lightning, I will jump in there and kind of do that if I'm able to, and kind of go from there. So talking about pain cage here, I do jump in here obviously and try to get the best that I essentially can and working with my weaker units essentially to get through here. And then I have some of my better units down here. Now talking about the upgrades, essentially the challenges are going to go from three to four days eventually. And that is just going to give you an idea that you can jump in here a little bit longer. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things with the rankings, it's really not going to matter too much because everybody's going to get that little bit of a boost. So you're probably just going to have a higher progress score essentially, but everybody's going to have that. So you'll probably be in the same rankings. Um, so going into just Gordon Golden Vortex, essentially I jump in here and I work on it when I can and kind of do what I can. Essentially, I am leveling units to kind of get through there, but this will actually get updated eventually through different events and stuff like that. it will get some different things added to it. It'll be structured a little bit differently when it comes to some of the chapters and whatnot. So this does get a little bit of an upgrade. Now talking about Tower of Babel, I know that we kind of talked about it a little bit in the last video. However, the quickest thing that I can kind of relate it to is Pan um, Pancage. And that is because it actually has some of these similar structures. So you do pick like kind of a boss to go against. Now, the thing that's a little bit different though, is that you have like kind of a risk reward essentially where you can jump in there and you can do some different things with some different cards. So these cards can give buffs to the boss. They can give you debuffs, maybe like an elemental resistance essentially, or like a thing that kind of helps the boss essentially hurt you a little bit more and stuff like that. So to get an idea that it is a little bit harder, but it's not going to change the overall end game loop too much. So honestly, you're going to jump in here and you're still going to be doing Warzone, Pain Cage, and probably Tower of Babel, and then Golden Vortex, if you haven't already kind of started on that and work on that. The last thing that kind of gets changed is Stronghold. Um, it does get stuff that's sort of added and then kind of gets wiped a little bit. So you can jump in here and kind of do it again, or you can do some different things and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff is going to be kind of the similar structure. And I wanted to make this video. I know it sounds kind of gloom and doom because it's like, okay, well, a lot of stuff doesn't get added. You know, they do have new, they have different chapters, you know, hidden chapters and stuff like that that get added to the game. But the rinse and repeat of the end game is really going to be largely just the same. And the reason I wanted to make this is because of an expectation. I wanted to give you guys an idea that, hey, 
this game is not really meant to be like a main like full focus type of game in my humble opinion it's going to be a side game a lot of people are going to choose two different ways to play this one they're going to jump in here for the 10 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes if you're doing you know the war zone and stuff like that and then they're going to jump out that's essentially what it's going to be for a longevity of the game so there's a lot of times where the event's kind of going on you're going to be kind of grinding the new event whenever you get to kind of the middle spot where we're all at right now it's going to be very similar to the way that all these new events are going to kind of give you so the cool thing is in my opinion though it's kind of a side game i like that i like to be able to jump in here if i'm playing other games you know i just need to spend like 20 minutes and i'm done with it now i know a lot of people want to play forever essentially but you can do that with warzone if you really want to you can jump in here and try to do like area three you can do all kinds of different things to kind of boost your score and you can play as much as you essentially want going through warzone i know that doesn't sound like super compelling or like something that everybody wants to do but there are avenues and other modes that essentially give you a little bit of a freedom with the lack of stamina that you have to use to do this to give you an idea like you can play for a little bit longer but i wanted to make this video to give you guys the expectation that this is what it is it's essentially just a grinding type of game where you jump in here and you kind of do what you need to do do your dailies weeklies bounties whatever you need to do to get your bc roll for characters jump into the event if you need to grind some stuff for the shop jump into warzone and pain cage and babble a tower and uh tower of babble and then golden vortex and kind of go from there so let's just give you an expectation it's not to scare you away the game gets a lot more polished a lot more fun there's a lot more stuff that gets kind of added and gets a little bit more variety but it is going to be at the end of the day when you get through all of that the end game loop is essentially going to be the same no matter what event you're kind of on it's just going to be a little bit more polished different characters and stuff like that so anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I will see you in the next one, guys. Have a good rest of your night. Peace.